hello my ladies you're welcome back to my channel this is still me and your girl and i am super happy to have you back on my channel if you're new here you're welcome Stay a minute, another minute. so in today's video i will be telling you how to loosen up your nigerian man and get him spilling mm -hmm. a lot of ladies do not know how to get their nigerian man to you know to come close to open up to them that is quite difficult and i must agree with you that this is a difficult task actually yes you really need to know where you are in that relationship for your nigerian man to actually start to open up to you but in today's video i'm gonna be giving you the code in which i used to break or to crack my own man and I'm sure that it's gonna work for you. But before we go further, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing. So let's go on and talk about how to crack your Nigerian man or how to get him to start talking. First of all, understand that a relationship that brings two people together and they come to a point where they trust each other enough to open up to each other begins with one thing and only one thing alone and that is friendship. Mm -hmm. See, my ladies, I have to be plain with you. Do not expect that you meet a guy who's not your friend and you guys have not dated for so long and you're expecting him to open up and spill to you. No, that's hard. Especially, you know, how men are. Men are these beings, yes. They are these beings that they're always so hard to crack open. And they cannot tell you anything except they know what you would do or they trust you or they know the kind of reaction that they will get from you. That is your emotion when it comes to what they will say to you. If you're the kind of person that he tells something and then all of a sudden you flare up and you're angry, do you expect him to come tell you something next time? If you are the kind of person who encourages him in the things that he says and the things that he does, do you expect him to come back to you next time? And finally, if you are the person who sits down as a friend and he tells you whatever it is he's telling you and you encourage him and you discuss it with him and you prefer solutions and you talk smart and wise do you think that he will come back to you to talk to you when it comes to things that worries him the first thing like i said is friendship do not expect a man to start opening up to you the moment you start dating even six months is too small for a man to trust you and start to open up to you believe me especially a nigerian man with this you know male mentality nigerian mentality kind of thing where they want to be in charge he wants to keep some things to himself but the moment he starts to see you as a friend the moment you people pass the relationship zone and you get into the friendship zone <laughs> It is done. The problem is some people begin their relationship with the whole relationship thing instead of beginning your relationship with friendship. A relationship that starts with friendship is really hard to crack. And this is because a relationship that has friendship and love together is a beautiful thing. Because one, you guys are friends. You can actually talk about anything, like everything, like friends do. So the first knot to crack when it comes to opening up your Nigerian man and getting him to spill is to have a connection with him, is to have friendship. I was friends with my, with my man for a very long time before I even went into the love zone because I chose to. When he came with relationship, but I told him, no, I was going to be friends first. So I had already became friend and 
at the point it moved from the friendship zone into the love zone so the thing is just try to, to to have a connection try to be friends with your nigerian man it's not all of, look relationship is more than hanging out him attaining visa to your jerusalem and you know all these things it's more on the friendship that you people have so that is my number one go-to if you want your Nigerian man to spill. Because when you guys are playing, see, friendship is so sweet in a relationship. Like, I can tell you that if you are friends with your man, at a point you would even forget that you guys are dating or that you guys are in love and only think about each other as friends. So that whenever he has something, you know that moment where you have something to tell to someone. He's looking forward to come tell it to you. And I swear to you, this is the point that I got to with my man and my husband right now. Like, we were friends before any other thing. And you too can do it. You too can do it. Make him your friend. If you make him your friend, be his confidant, be his everything be there for him console him he would just he would loosen up he won't even realize that you're his woman anymore rather he will start to think about you as his friend i can tell you that if anything happens he cannot wait to come back and tell you exactly what happened i swear to you he cannot wait see babe you know what happened today oh my god and you guys are gonna sit down you're gonna be his gossip mate i know it's not new when they say be friends but be friends it means really be friends you know the kind of connection you have with your best friend that's the kind of friendship i'm talking about i'm not talking about just a friend a random friend that you meet somewhere or you meet outside i'm talking about a best friend your party your paddy paddy, you just made your gossip mate. That's what I'm talking about. That's the first way to make him speak to you. The second way is to always, always remember that the Nigerian man is a proud man. And when he comes with a problem, he's not expecting you to be so judgmental. He's expecting you to be supportive, to be understanding. To be on his side and even if you feel that you cannot be on his side to gently tell him in a way that he will understand i'm telling you my ladies this is the only way that i have found that worked for me first of all i made him my friend and from friends we became lovers and from lovers we became husband and wife and to god be the glory it's still going on see in my head i do not think relationship i do not think marriage i do not think anything when it comes to my man i only think about my friend <laughs> this is the only way i have found that worked for me for me and i am sure it will work for you knowing an Nigerian man yes because if he is your friend he's your friend he's your baby he's your lover he's your boyfriend it's a lot it's a lot to handle like he cannot help it but you'll be his gist mate who else is he gonna go to if he doesn't open up to you but have it in mind that it's not gonna happen overnight mm -mm. he needs to gain your trust first yes he needs to gain your trust first and if he gains your trust then expect him to come back to you but if he tells you something and he doesn't gain your trust and remember when your Nigerian man is telling you something that thing is for your ears it is for your ears alone he's not telling you to go tell someone else and this is really, really bad for ladies who do it. Like when your man tells you something, you take it to your friend, maybe your girlfriend or your best friend or your sister. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's a breach of trust. 
And who betide that person if he ever comes to hear what he told you from someone else? Then it's done. He's never going to tell you that again, ever. So my ladies, he needs to gain your trust. Just if you can find a way to make him your friend. I don't know any way to overstress the friendship issue. This is the only way that I know and that I have found that actually really does work. Really. Something else that I would like to add is be a problem solver. Do not add more to him. Be smart. Be intelligent. Let him know that you understand what he's saying. Let him know that you can. Let him know that you can help. That you're not just going to listen with one ear and let it fly out of the other ear. Let him know that you actually care to help. Let him know that you were there for him. And he would always come back to you. I'm telling you, my ladies, this has been tried, tested, and it has been proven to work by me, certified. I'm telling you, it will work. Make your man your friend. I'm sure this applies to every man. It doesn't even matter if it's Nigerian or not. But I'm telling you, this is one way I succeeded in cracking my Nigerian husband. If he doesn't tell me something, <laughs> who knows what that thing really is. So if you are someone who goes gossiping to my husband, <laughs> I'm sorry for you. Because he's going to come right back and give me the full gist in download. I'm telling you, gossip partners, remember? So this is just what I'm trying to tell you. Like, this is how it's going to end for you. If you are able to make this guy your friend, your friend, I mean a best friend, because your best friend can tell you something. I've seen a lot of people in relationships, but they cannot open, I swear. I do not know what I cannot say to my husband. I don't know. I don't know now. I'm telling you. I don't know. Is there anything I can actually not say to him? I don't know. I can't figure. And if anything happens, I'm running home to come tell him, honey. <laughs> you don't know what happened to this. <laughs> Let's not talk too much. You know what to do to get that guy to start talking. First of all, be his friend. Show him that you care. Show him that you're there for him. Show him that you're there to help him. Do not be there judging. Do not be all judgmental. If you are all judgmental to him, he will not spill. Okay? So, my ladies, without further ado, do have a lovely day. Do have a happy day. Stay 